Hey, how you doing okay? You look kind of thirsty. It's pretty hot out here, so you should probably have a drink or something. Here, I was gonna have this myself built, so like you need them more than me. It's just some water. Hey, uh, your eyes have kind of dilated. Are you okay? You look like you're about to die. Oh, hey, I see those eyelids fluttering. Back to the land of the living, eh? Sorry about that, it was the only way I could get you here. I mean, it's kind of hard finding people who just climb in a cellar case willingly. And I had to specifically buy that case, so I'm not one to just go to waste, but... Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. You, uh... Doing okay? And before you try to say something, you should know you're actually gagged, so... You don't have to give me a nod or shake here. I, I was not expecting a nod, actually. Are you, are you sure? I mean, you are tied to a chair in someone's basement and like, don't get me wrong, it's a nice chair. I specifically picked it out for you. <laughs> Only the best for you, you know, but like, I don't think most people would be okay with this kind of situation. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's get to the bit I actually practiced. Hello, thank you for being here. I should... Probably start off with an explanation as to why you're here. You see, I love you. I've loved you for a while, actually. Like a really long time. I can't stop thinking about you every night. And I spent all the time in class just watching you in the corner dozing off, occasionally contributing. Everything you do is just so beautiful. After following you home for a couple times and appointing myself as your personal protector, I decided that we're ready for the next step. For you to actually know I exist, so here we are. Ta-da! Now I totally get that this is gonna take some time getting used to. I mean, I pretty much got to keep you down here until people stop looking for you. I'd rather not have the police busting through here because they saw you in a window or something. <laughs> but maybe we could take this time for you to actually get to know me. I've spent so much time learning and watching you. It makes my heart flutter to hear you imagine doing the same thing for me and someday being as dedicated to me as I am to you. But anyway, I am getting distracted. That's a way off for now. I mean, you must be pretty angry and upset at me right now dragging you away from your friends and family to selfishly keep you to myself. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Are you not? That's strange. No, you must not be saying that so that I relax and untie you, right? You always were so clever. That's part of why I love you. Along with everything else about you but anyway onto the serious stuff i do need to know who's close enough to actually come looking for you so i can either instead mislead or discourage them i'm sorry if that's difficult to hear but as they say the 
course of true love never did run smooth. Or something along those lines. So yeah, any friends you think might come dangerously close to finding you that I should be concerned about? No? Are you sure? I mean, someone must, someone like you must have loads of really close friends and you're shaking your head again? Okay, what about family? Do you think maybe your mom or dad, maybe a sibling? No, you're shaking your head again. Are you okay? There's a sad look in your eye right now. Do you want to talk about after I have taken the gag off? Something's very wrong here. Very, very wrong. I mean, I always thought I caught you at times where you chosen to be alone. You know, to get away from the crowds, but what you're saying, I, I'll go and start making the dinner. I learned your favorite a while back and deliberately kept the ingredients in stock just in case you ever stopped by. I'll be back in an hour. Hey, I'm back, bro. You really haven't moved, have you? That's a, not exactly a heavy chair. I specifically picked it out so it would be comfortable and so I could tell when you moved, but you just haven't. Your kidnapper left you alone for an hour and you just did nothing? You really don't have a problem with this, do you? This isn't a good sign. Hey, I'm gonna just take off your gag, okay? I'm worried about you. And I think we need to have a talk about this. Okay, here we go. All things considered, I don't think I really need to buy this. Not to mention all the malware I think I might have gotten from the site. So, why are you so okay with this? I mean, I know I shouldn't have a problem with this situation since... I'm the one who decided to do all this, but you? You're just thankful someone has actually taken an interest in you. <laughs> they might actually be the understatement of the century, but what about the others? They just ignore you? But that's not possible, I... I, I'm i sorry, I never noticed. If I had known, I would have come and talked to you sooner. I just thought that amongst everyone else, you might not have time for me. But what about your family? You don't seem to think they would look for you. You aren't close to them. I see. No, no. Hang on, you are not a disappointment. Look me in the eyes right now. You're perfect, okay? You're none of those things. You just called yourself, not to me. And you shouldn't think that way about yourself. This is honestly a difficult situation. I thought I just needed to keep you to myself, but... No, hang on, you don't look at me like that. I want to help you, but the truth is I'm not qualified to give you all the help you need. Okay. Kind of ironic that the kidnapped is doing all of this, but... 
we're going to help you see a therapist. I can work part time and help take you to the sessions and we can help you feel a little more positive about yourself bit by bit, okay? Eventually we can make you see yourself the way I do. And trust me, I totally understand what it's like to be where you are right now. I mean, think about it. As someone who stopped and kidnapped their crush going to be the most mentally healthy person around. But, like I said, I can't help you with this alone. And the most important thing to me is that you're happy. I promise we're going to get through this. I will be here right beside you the whole time. I'm not going to go anywhere. I've got you, okay? But, judging by how you feel right now, I don't think we're going to meet in those ropes, so let me just... Okay, you should be untied now. Oh, you're hugging me. This is a first. You're safe now, okay? As ironic as that may be. I love you too.